I'm Dr. David Hill and today we're going to talk about how to check a fever without a thermometer. Unfortunately, checking a fever without a thermometer is generally very difficult. Now, partly it's going to be based on the height of the fever. A very high fever is usually obvious to just about anybody who's feeling the person who has that fever. Usually it's a child that you're feeling. However, for moderate fevers or low fevers, the old back of the hand test is very unreliable. How unreliable? The rate at which a parent's assessment of fever matches an actual measured fever is only about 20 percent. Sorry grandma, sometimes the back of the hand doesn't work that well. Where you take a temperature is as important as that you take a temperature. And especially in young children, the rectal temperature really is the most reliable. It's the closest to the inside of the body. In older children who are able to cooperate, a temperature under the tongue is also very accurate. Ear thermometers, unfortunately, don't tend to be as accurate. However, even worse is probably an armpit temperature. The armpit kind of serves as the body's uh, cooling and heating system, and when you're breaking your fever, your armpit's hot. When you're starting to get a fever, your armpit's cool. So the prediction of the armpit doesn't tend to be good. Now, there are some very expensive thermometers that can measure temperature right here in the, in the temporal artery. Those work well if you can afford them, but you can also do just as well with a $10 thermometer as if you put it in the right place. Understand as well, if you do identify a fever, a fever is not going to hurt anybody. It is almost impossible for a human to generate a fever high enough to damage that person, such as 106 or 107. That said, if you register a temperature over 104, you probably want to talk to your doctor in the next 24 hours. If it's over 105, you probably want to seek care more immediately, not because the fever is going to hurt you or your child, but simply because it may be an indicator that you have a significant illness that needs to be treated more quickly. Talking about how to measure a temperature, sometimes without a thermometer, I'm Dr. David Hill.